this quick tip tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download the latest firmware to your Grandstream HT818. Before we get started, I want to tell you about a company who's been providing telecom services since 1985. U.S. Tech is an industry leader in providing low-cost VoIP, UCAS, SIP trunks, and every kind of telephone service in between. They can drastically lower your phone bills, provide telephone service for your home or business within hours, and provide ongoing technical support along the way. That's U.S. Tech. Call, text, or chat today and let U.S. Tech do the work for you. So what we're going to do first is log in and if you want to know how to log in to your device and how to program one, look at the other video that I have in the description. I'll, I'll leave a link there and uh, you can look at uh, how to log into your Grandstream. You can look at how to provision your Grandstream, how to provision it for different kinds of situations like alarm lines. Um, or credit card machines or fax machines. There's all kinds of videos that I've uh, made for those situations. So take a look in the description. You'll find them all there. And don't forget to like and subscribe if this has uh, been a blessing to you. Okay, I'm gonna log in. With the default login is admin admin. We'll see here that our latest firmware is 1.0.4.33. So what you want to do is go to grandstream.com forward slash support forward slash firmware. And then you're going to see them all up here. Um, what you want to do is scroll down to ATAs. Uh, we're, and we're going to get the firmware for the HT818. So what you'll you'll do, you'll see this here. All you'd have to do is click on 1.0.55.5. That's the latest one uh, at the time of this video. So we click on that. Downloads to my computer. We will open it on the computer and we're going to extract all into a folder and here it is here. So now what we want to do, go to advanced settings and we're going to scroll down to upload firmware. So we'll click on that and we're going to choose the firmware that we just downloaded to our computer and we're going to click upload. And of course we'll lose connection. And what I'm going to do now is reboot my Grandstream HT818. And sure enough, they're asking to change the password. So I'll do that right now. And you'll see, sure enough, the new software version is up to date 1.0.55.5 at the time of this video that's being made. Don't forget, if you like this video and you like the content that I'm making, please like and subscribe so I can bring you a lot more content. I love making these videos and uh, hopefully it's a blessing to you. So um, that's all there is to it.